this downtown Toronto park took over seven years to build, but it finally opened just in time for this good weather. We are going to stroll around. Yes, I've never strolled through a park looking so sophisticated. Well, today's the day. <laughs> the park is 6,400 square meters and is providing some much needed green space in the downtown core. The park is named after Dr. Lillian McGregor, who passed away in 2012. She was an award-winning community leader from Whitefish River First Nation, which would be why you see a lot of indigenous art pieces honoring her and surrounding the park. Oh, there's a green pea here. That's good to know for anyone driving. And that's because the space was actually built on top of multiple condo parking garages, which were inaccessible to the public for a while. But other than just a place to park and nice art, the park also has central gathering spaces, an off-leash dog park for the neighborhood pups, and a colorful playground. It says for children. Oh no. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. You're the same size. <laughs> Overall, the city is pretty excited about having the green space finally open, especially as the summer nears. Not gonna lie, this park is pretty elite. I'm really vibing with all the fun stuff here, but I will say it says children only and nothing will stop me. I don't see anything saying you can't relive your childhood memories. There's nothing wrong with this. <laughs> nothing wrong with this. Head to the Dr. Lillian McGregor Park at 25 Wellesley Street West.